Porn people of the world, the second part to the Star Trek porn parody from Men.com has finally come out. I don't know why there was a huge delay in releasing this scene as opposed to the first scene. The first scene came out in October. Although I can't say for sure, it does look as though the two scenes were filmed back to back. So whatever the reasonings was, it was something behind the scenes we don't know about. The first scene felt more like it was two scenes that were just merged together. Chekhov and Dr. McCoy had their own thing going on, while the people on the bridge had a three-way action. And then eventually they joined together and started a five-way action. And this go-around, all five performers do make a cameo appearance at the very beginning. However, it's more focused on Mr. Spock and Ahura, who's played by Micah Brandt. I did think it was kind of odd that Ahura was not part of the first scene, but maybe they were just holding him back so that he can be a part of the second one. Regardless, though, this is following in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek universe, where Ahura and Mr. Spock have a relationship. Which I know there is, like, a huge divide in Star Trek fans who either support this or they're against it. Personally, I like the idea of Mr. Spock and Ahura being together. Jordan Boss's version of Mr. Spock is showing a lot of emotion in the sense that he's not too happy with the way Captain Kirk is running the ship. Luckily though, his boyfriend Ahura is there to cheer him up. Micah is very vocal when he's having any type of sexual things being done to him. And I say that in a very positive way. A lot of guys are very quiet or they don't really moan too much. Micah is not that type of person. He does get naked fairly quickly. That's the only little gripe I have about this. If this is going to be a parody that's going to be based on fictional characters, I want to see them dressed up as that character as long as possible. It doesn't take away from the scene in any way whatsoever. It's still a lot of really hot sex. Although one thing I did notice that was missing from their uniforms, they didn't have the Starfleet insignia, the little Delta sign that's on all of their uniforms. I don't know why it wasn't there. Maybe they just couldn't afford the actual pins, or maybe there was some other reasoning behind it where they didn't want to make it look too much like Star Trek. I'm not really quite sure. Anyways, back to the sex. Like I said, Micah is very vocal as Jordan is blowing him. But holy fuck, when he starts to get pounded by Jordan, damn! He looks like he legitimately enjoyed every fucking minute of that. He's begging him to slap his ass and to pound him even harder, and I love bottoms like that. The special effects are decent, and they're pretty much in line with what we've seen with Men.com. Although I do gotta give them props, they do seem to get progressively a bit better every time they start doing another sci-fi genre. Gay porn isn't quite at that point to match up to the heterosexual porn parodies that have a much higher budget to put into all of their special effects, but still, at least it's starting to approach it. And I know a lot of people out there are not a fan of porn parodies. Me, personally, Personally, though, I enjoy them. In fact, I really encourage them, and I hope that Men.com does a lot more. But that's just my personal opinion on this. Overall, I thought this scene was great. Besides the sci-fi aspect, the sex itself was also super smoking hot. If you're interested in watching this, you want to go to Men.com and look for their superhero subset series. This is part of the whole sci-fi stuff that they've been doing lately, and I'm really glad that they are doing it, and I hope that they do many more. So with that, I'll leave you. Thank you guys for watching me in this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon site. It's patreon.com slash geek. You become one of my patrons, and you get to see some extra pictures and videos, things that I generally don't show to the public and I only show to my patrons. You also get the benefit of knowing you're helping a gay geek like me out to continue on doing videos like the one you just saw. And that in itself should be worth it, right? Anyways, I will join you guys in another video very soon. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Best. Oh my god, you know what I want to see? I want to see a male Klingon being fucked by a male Vulcan. I could totally see the Klingon using that as some sort of rite of passage for him to be an ultimate warrior or something like that.